あそう俺はその箱を焦げた水晶玉の隣に置くとバチバタクシャクシャの銀紙を集め他の他のがの他のガラクタと一緒にドアのそばにまとめた。バチバチラバラチラチラバチラバッタ。はい。So I I place Tonari Tonari ni. I place the box next to the water crystal, the burnt water crystal. Then I gather the silver. Uh, paper that was crumbled and scattered about. To get together with the other junks, I collect them next to the door. I, I collect them next to the door with the other junk. I. 最初の箱が、the first box, 空っぽになると、it, it became empty. Then, nobody は次の箱に通りかかった。Never, nobody start. With the next box. That's correct. When did he start with the next box? To immediately after. Okay. When the first box is empty, immediately after, nobody start start with the next box. So no hoka karawa from out of that box. Gasura no me dama. He iro. He iro e ha o motsu chisana wani no. Akse ga. Detekita. From out of that box came the taxiderm of a crocodile, of a small crocodile possessing a golden tooth and a glass eyeball. Hi, is that a logical way to translate this, though? The logical way to say that. Is, is it logical to assume this um, stuffed an alligator has only one golden tooth and one golden um, and one glass eyeball? Is that a logical assumption to make? Maybe not. Maybe it should be. It's probably teeth, right? And eyes. The polarization probably... is insinuated by context. So it probably Hi. has yellow teeth and eyes. That would be the logical way to. It's not like uh, a pirate. Alligator, so, where, he, where he, you yeah. know, have one injured eye and he had a glass ball as a replacement and a one so, so. broken tooth. Exactly. Uh, I was thinking more of this piratey kind of crocodile. <laughs> Never mind. I'm um, guessing these are these are more of a um, like this taxiderm is more of a collectible items where mm -hmm. the eyes are glass and the teeth are gold because. Is the taxiderm all they could do was to Hi. preserve this? 
Exactly. So just so you know, it Hi. does say yellow and not gold. So the teeth are not made out of yellow. It just says the teeth are yellow. It, it, like old teeth. It's probably the actual teeth that the one he originally had. I mean, I don't know how taxidermy works. Um, but te- teeth in general turn yellow when they're old, right? Kind of like apples. I... Okay, that makes sense. So, Nebri wa chotto na chotto na ga chotto nagamete kara. So, Nebri, he gaze a little bit and then ore ni ore ni yoko shita. He passed it over to me. So the kara here is different from the to, in that to is immediately after and kara is. Right. Just means after. Doesn't... There's no insinuation of time. Right. It's okay. very prompt between these two. This one could be slower. He just kind of stares at it, then passes it over me. While this right here is like, right when I pick this up, I immediately do the next thing. Um, It feels very prompt right. when you're using the to. But the kata just doesn't have that prompt insinuation. So it's just kind of generic. After I do this, I do the next thing. And also is the case that kata take the te form of the verb and Hi, to take the, the from. short form. Yes. To goes after um like a sentence and it's always a dictionary form. Hi. Kata. So here... Um, so he passed it to me, Iran, uh, from Iro or Iru is to need, so I don't need it. Iran, I, Iran, I don't need it. Ore wa sono wa ni mo, morao koto ni shita. I will also take, I will take also this at crocodile. Perfect. I will take this. I will take this crocodile as well. This this crocodile More. shall be mine. <laughs> this crocodile too shall be mine. So he took in his possession the knife, and now he took, now he took the crocodile. All right. Uh, soro soro, hara ga. Soro soro meaning, uh, soon, shortly. Just about time. Hara. Kara ga uh, here is karai karaite. Good guess. It is pronounced as kara when it means empty, and it does mean empty here, but as a verb, it's actually su from suku. Su. Hi. So here is suite kita no de. He's saying that since my stomach is about to be empty, Right. Shortly, poketo ni sukonde. I stick into the pocket. Oita right. muffin. Oita come from oku, so right. oita but, muffin. So this is basically Tori saying ga... the muffin that I did this earlier to is uh what this is saying. Hi, so here it's saying. That I tori dashi. I take out the muffin that I placed there prior in the pocket. Right. Exactly. Tsugi tsugi to one by one. Hako no naka nakami nakami o tori dasu neburi o nagame nagara kashita. So Kashita here that he's munching. He's Hi. munching. Khan is munching as he gazes upon Neburi. Right. Here it say Nagame Nagara while he's gazes right. at Neburi, who's who is performing the action of Toridasu, taking out the content, Nakami, of the box, Hakano. Tsugi tsugi, one at a time. Perfect. Neburi wa 
और नेबरी गा फूथा था भी है या नो मानना नो इतनी おろしたきたにのあ、I'm Mamire Yukani Azokora Juni Asoko Asokora Juni Majutsu no Dogu to Karabako to Kusha Kusha no Gingamiga Chirabate Ita. All right. Here it say nobody, nobody ga putata bi heya no manaka no itsu ni koshi o toroshita toki ni. When, at the time, when nobody sat his butt down on the chair in the middle of the room, one more time, then what happened next? At that time, nobody jishin mo kara ju hokori ni ma mire. His his whole body, nobody's whole body, um, it's covered in dust. Hokori ni ma mire. Ma mire here is the is the passive form, taking the dust. As the actor. Hi. Okori ni. And yuka ni wa on the floor. Sokora ju ni. Machutsu no dogu to. So sokora. Juni is scatter about. Hi. Scatter about where? Scatter about the places. Soko, Hi. sokora. Those places over. on the floor. Yep. Over on that the floor. That basically means everywhere on the floor. Hi. Everywhere on the floor. We have. Um. Everywhere on the floor, scatter about are the crumble up silver paper, empty boxes, and magical tools. Perfect. Tool. Nice. Or oh, magic tools. Yep. Magitsu no dogu. Okay. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's even more. Oh, I thought that's where we left off. Let me go. Where am I? Okay, they got two more lines to read. <laughs> okay, here is Hi. our next line. But oh, I have this. He took out. He, he took out a volume, and a volume I, is not a series of books, but a book in the series. Exactly. Um. Nobody wa. Saigo no hako kara toridashita. Nobody take out from the last box. Teni shiteta into his hand. And that which he took out was a atsu no okina hon. So one is ichi and volume is satsu. So when you got ichi plus satsu, it became i satsu. Hi, itsatsu no okina hon o. So all together is say 
最後の箱から取り出した一冊の大きな本を手にしていた。Nobody take from out of the box a volume, a large volume into his hand. Perfect. Into his possession, in other words. Yep. If I was transliving this personally, I would do, I would keep things connected. So nobody takes into his hand a book that is lar one large volume that he had taken out of the box. The volume that was taken out of the box, he put into his hand. It's, I guess it is, it's very convoluted to have the take out basically in here twice. The take into your hand and the take out, because we use take in English. In his hand was a book that he had taken out. I might say it like that to get kind of close. <laughs> okay, so here we have fu, furu, 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 bita, furu, bita, kawa no yogami. Yoshi. It? it is Yoshi. gami from gin gami, but she is the married reading, the kami, which turned into ga right there at the extra rendaku. It's kind of a sign that this was the single reading, uh, friends with benefits going on right there. はい。そう、日用紙。用紙の本で、閉じられた紙の、閉じられた、あ閉じられた。Oh, uneven. Close, close. That's actually the next word down right here. Specifically not adjective. とじろい。とじる、um, means to bind. Ah, to bind, to bind. Right. Tochirareta. Kami. Okay, so it referred to the kami that was used to bind this volume. Right. So what, what is it? It's the hashi. The hashi of the kami. So hashi wa fuzoi fuzoroida. So the edge of the binding was uneven. Perfect. And it referred to the book covers. Right. The book, the book which has an old cover. Hi. The book. Hi. That's also, what is the book cover made out of? Kawa, uh, skin, a uh, leather. Kawa. Yes, leather. Hi. Um, can you read this word for me? Fukuramu. Hi. Fuku. So Fukuramu is to bulk up, to kind of get bigger. It's not like to um explode and something like that. It's like, you know, it's small and it goes poof, you know, like a puffer fish. Fukuramu. Hi. Um, what is the te form of Fukuramu? Hi. Te form for mu is Fuku. Fukuran, fukuran ide. It's just fukuran ide. ide. That'd be fukuran too much. Uh, as a tip, when you get a n sound, you're never going to have a vowel right here because then you just be making ni, na, or nu, and no, right? Because there's, on, there's only a very small amount of vowels in Japanese. So after n, always has to be some kind of consonant sound. So you so because since we have you, you knew there was an n that means e is impossible because then you'd be making me not n me, right? So you have to do a consonant like Fukun, fukurande. Fukurande. perfect. Let's go read this random sentence. Home wa fukurande iru. Fukurande enlarge. The book yeah. enlarging. Yeah, the big. book the, the book has gotten big. It's puffed. It has it's puffed out. It is it is poofed out. Um, do you know what hasamu means? Hi. Hasamu. Chizu wa hasamu. Chizu o hasamu. Ore wa muffin ni jam o nuri. Chizu o hasande. It's meant 
is mean um, that you places the cheese wedges in between the hi, muffins. Exactly. To wedge. Wedge so, something. Hi. So, hasa mu takes o. I wedge something. Um, do you, can you read this word Jizu for me? Jizuo hasa. Shiori. Hi. Shiori is a bookmark. Shiori. Hi. Shiori mark. What can is a pillow? Makura. It sounds like Makura. Hi. Nothing like Hi. Shiori. <laughs> I was confused. I thought it sounded like a pillow. Shiori, Shiori sounds Hi. like something else, like a name, maybe. Or salt. Hi. Shio. Or castle. The otoko wa konni shiori o hasanda. The man wedges the bookmark into the book. Exactly. Perfect. And that this is the normal way you'd say you put a bookmark in a book, just so you know. Um, wedging is a perfect way to translate this word, but just as like a random note, uh, that's the word you would by default use to say I put a bookmark in the book. So this word right here, hasa maru, rather than hasan, hasa, what was it? Hasamu. Uh, um, this is to be wedged, right? Takes a ga. And this is a uber. So it's not does not end with ru, it ends with u. Can you read this word for me? Tirehashi, the edges of the blade. Hi. Oh no, not a blade. Kirehashi. Kirehashi. So um it means um scraps. Like you took a piece of paper and you cut it with a scissors, kire, and you're left off with a bunch of ends. Because hashi means end, and kire means to be cut. So these are ends that have been cutted. Kire hashi. I okay. see. Um, so hasamaru. And what is the te form of that? Hasamate. Hasamate. It's like that'll stop. Let's go read this example sentence. Hire hashi no hasamata seda sede. Hon wa fukuran de iru. Fukumu to get big. Fukuran de iru. It's getting big. The book is getting big because say that due to due to the edges being cut off. Hmm? Good guess. So kokata kogeta sui shotama versus um sui shodama um ga kogete iru. This is what we're seeing here with kukuran deiru. So I'm saying it's doing the fattening. It is says it has fattened up and it's currently in the state of being fat flattened up is uh, what it's doing here. So it's the same thing as koketa and those other words that take ga. So normally when you see that ga being taken for these kind of descriptive like words, it tends to be rather than saying we're getting this happening. It means to be in the state of this, to be in the state of um it poofed up bulked up um so so it's bulk up so what does hasamatta mean it's we say that hasamu hasamaru was the um to be wedged to be wedged right, by to something. To be wedged, right? yeah. So it's because something was wedged, we did not have any hasami, which so, is scissors, used in this sentence. We did the wedging, not the cutting. 
So something has been wedged, most likely inside of the book, considering the context we're describing the book poofing up, right? So because something was wedged inside of the book, the book is taking up more space than it would normally, right? What has been stuffed inside of the book? Stuffed inside the pages of the book. Hi. Which, what is kirehashi? So, kirehashis are these loose pieces of paper. Exactly, yep. They are ends that have been cut. So, loose pieces of paper. Perfect. Yep, so because there's loose pieces of paper stuffed inside of it, um, the book is bulked. It's poofed up. Um, can you read this word for me? Kawaku. Perfect. Kawaku means dry. It reminds me a lot of the word kanpai for some reason. As it is in the word kanpai. The kan part of kanpai. <laughs> this means uh, dry. So kanpai, I'm still thirsty. Kawaku. Um, if you're thirsty, you can use this word to also mean that. But it means dry. Like my thirst dry would mean I'm thirsty. Um, how do you read this kanji? Kawaku. Dry. Perfect. Kawa. And what is the ta form of this word? Past tense? Ta form. This is a ku ending. So kawaita. Perfect. Kawaita. Kawaita. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. その歯は乾いたので here is the suffix meaning as a bookmark. Right. The leaf is dry, therefore, as a bookmark, it it is being used. Perfect. It is in the state of being used. Yep, it is being used as a bookmark since the leaf is dry. So the, the leaf is the bookmark. Um, can you read this word for me? Kizu. Perfect. A map. map. Hi. Starts with chi. What does it end with? Z. Chizu no Perfect. Hi. So let's go read this line from the book. Heya ni wa chizu no kirehashi ga chirabatte ita. The, uh, the loose pieces of the map was scattered about in the room. Hi. So what kind of, like, you're right that the, the loose pieces of the map, but like, what do you think? So the map has been, what has happened to the map? The map had been either torn or cut up. Hi, 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 hi. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. So, so the torn piece. Exactly. The torn, the fragments of the map, the torn pieces of the map. The, the loose piece of the map feels like they're like meant to be separate. Like you got like a map that like was like five pieces of paper because you had like a printer and you, you couldn't print it in one piece of paper or something. And just like give up that vibe in English. Well, this is more like what happened to the map? Kirehashi broke it up Hi. in little pieces. Someone was mad at you. <laughs> so, kami no shiori ya kowai kawai ka hai kawai ta ha. 
地図の切れ橋などが挟まった。挟まって。挟まって。挟まって。が挟まって。バンバンバンバンバンバンバンバンにふくらんでいるバンバンはい OK so the piece the paper bookmark the bookmark that are of paper along with Leaves that are dry, dry leaves, they、um, was wedged into the fragments of the map. Incorrect. Or, 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 or let, me, let me start again. Hi. What is has so hasamaru takes ga, it does not take o, so it means to be wedged. Hi. Here it should have been the pieces, fragments of the map, and such, right? Hi. Fragments of the map and such things they are being wedged by the dry, dry leaves. And、nope. the so contextually, the subject of the sentence has been dropped. Well, the subject is listed basically right here, and then we have a different subject over there. Kind of, this is talking about the paragraph subject is book. We are talking about a book. This book is the book that nobody picked up, right? This is the this is our basically our、right. paragraph. We have nobody, he. Goes to the last box and takes out a single volume out of that box. This this book, this volume that he took out, it has a leather cover. It also looks quite old. And for some reason, the pages of the book, rather than being flat like a book should be, right? Most book pages are flat, they're uneven. The next line is kind of describing why are they uneven? Why are the book pages uneven? Well, we hasamandud, hasamadud, right? Things like pieces of paper of a map, some dry leaves, and some bookmarks are all stuck inside of this book. Which, because of that, right, what has happened to the book? Pan pan ni fukurande iru. It's in the state of puffed up. Perfect. It's expanded. Pan pan mean, I don't know what pan pan means. It's a sound effect for、Act. bulging. Pan pan, like it's popping in your、Bulge. face or something. <laughs> it's a weird sound effect.、Um, right. Do you know what an obi is? It's a、pan、word that's pretty common to know. Obi. Obi is the piece of fabric they use to tie their waist. Yes. And obi is actually、okay. a generic word for belt or that kind of tying action,、Hi. which is really funny because we specifically say, oh, the, the kimono has an obi. But this is used in other contexts as well, just like in English, like, oh, I wore a belt with my dress. It's basically some kind of strap like material that goes around something. It should be made out of fabric, and normally it's like tied with fabric. So it would not likely have like the belt. Hook thing.、Um, an obi would normally not have that thing on there, right? And it's not made out of leather. It should be made out of some kind of normal fabric. So a fabric belt is a obi. So in the next context, they're not using it like a obi in a kimono. They're using it like a, a, a string of fabric, right? Like a kind of fat string of fabric, a ribbon, right? Like a ribbon of fabric that's being used to tie something close. Obi.、Um, hey. Can you read? <laughs> so, in this case, I am making it out of Kawa, but、uh, it probably should not be. <laughs> but let's go read the sentence anyway. 
Kono obi wa kawa de dekiteiru. It says that this obi is made of leather. And normally that would be false from my understanding. Um, I probably should like, double check that, but that's my understanding of that. Um, tomeru. Hi. So this kanji theoretically could have um, this other kanji. It's, it's just, they're, they're apparently the same word, tomeru, to stop. But we specifically use this kanji to insinuate fastening of something. So you fasten it so it's no longer moving, right? So you might fasten a pin on a shirt, for example. Tomeru, to fasten. So this is a do verb. So it does end with do, uh, tomeru. What is the top form of tomeru? Uh, the top form of tomeru is tometa. Hi, is there a glala stop in there? Yes, tometa. There's not a glala stop. It's tometa, not tometa. Tometa, no glala stop. Tomeru is a new verb. Tomeru, hi. Hi. Let's go read this line from the book. Fukuranda. Tough, tough. Fukuranda, hon o. Obi de. Tomete ita. The puffed off book was harnessed, tied up, with the obi perfect um a obi is affixed to the um so it doesn't really mean tied up here it just means that there's a, a the belt whatever is like attached to it hi um do you know what atsui means with this specific kanji atsui 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 means thick. Yes, it does mean thick. Nice. Thick, thick, thick. Good job. Something is thick. Hi. So let's go read. But it also had the same sound as asui as in hot. It does. Yep. Which would use. Cup of tea is asui. Yep. Atsui. Meaning hot is this kanji. Hi. So, shiori no, shiori no wa, no, it's hasamande, hasamanda hon. Perfect. Ga. Hasamanda hon ga asui obi de tomete atta. So, instead of tomete ita, here we say tomete atta. Right. Meaning that we don't know who the actor is. We only know that the book is currently being tied by a thick OB. And the book is described as being puffed up right. with bookmarks. Yes, a bookmark is stuck inside of the book, wedged inside of the book. So this book with a bookmark inside of it has a thick belt um, that was used to affix it, to attach it. Attach, um, Money, quick, quick, quick question. Yeah. If this was omete ita, what, what would the, how would the meaning change? Uh, as you can see, the difference is the o particle, hon o. Tomateita. Right here it says honga tomate atta. So um so that so aru, right? We talked about this before, but te aru for all intents and purposes is exactly the same as passive form. Um da de do. They 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 illustrate the same thing. The difference is that te aru is used when you don't care at all who did the action. Who did it? I don't know. I don't care. That's not what I'm talking about. So if you're saying, oh, something was written on a stop sign, you would use te aru because you don't know who wrote it. You don't care who wrote it. But if you're talking about the, the book with Genji, like the, a book that was written, you probably would say te aru, saying, oh, the book that was written by whoever wrote the book was blah, blah, blah. Right? 
So Laudadu is very common and insinuates that you care who did it. That it is relatively important in the conversation. The person, you know who it is. Teadu means you don't know who it is and you don't care. So right here, it just says the book was affixed versus the other one, which I said takes o, which is the normal form of the word. The book, the thing is um, fixed to the book. Um, you Hi, know what marugoto that? means? Marugoto. Maru is round. Koto is a thing. So a round thing. You're right that koto does mean thing, but normally koto as the word thing doesn't really get go added to it. I mean, kind of. Uh, goto normally means like with, like tomo, tomoni, like isho. So maru goto means round and with, and it means the whole thing. So I guess koto could work here. Koto. Maybe koto and koto are the same thing. Possible. Might be. That makes sense, actually. Um, Rounded. The whole around. thing. So, the whole the thing. The entire Marugoto. thing. Okay. And this is a adverb. Marugoto. Right. So you just throw that in the sentence. Like this. Sono mama marugoto kagi no suita atsui Kagi no suita atsui kawa no obi de tomete atta. So I was going to tell you this meant um to affix, which it is what this means, but to contain is probably actually a better definition in this specific context. I think to affix sounds weird. To, to contain. contain. I think that's a better word. Let's try it from the beginning. So <laughs> it say here that sono mama in that way. In that state. Right. It's a continuing in that particular state. In that, that f puffed up, that pun pun fukuranda right. state. Marudo, uh, marugoto, the whole thing is tomete uh, atta, is bind up. The whole thing was bind together. Using an obi, obi de, and the obi is is described as um, kagi no suita atsui kawa. So a thick leather binding that had a lock attached to it. Right. And that whole thing strapped up, strapped onto the book. Right. And, and in this case, it I, really is um to be containing the book. So it is locked in this context. So it's it's attached to the book. Uh -huh. But contextually, it can be like, as it's like, it's kind of saying, this is why the book is closing. Because it's, you know, it's all puffed up with like pieces of paper and bookmarks sticking out of it. Um, But because it has this obi tied around it, affixed to it, um, it's containing the book basically, and the obi happens to have a lock on it. Hi, what got Somehow it? Somehow stuck on it. What got that? Hi. So yeah, sorry, I did lots of weird things with that obi word. It's um, I feel like there's something I want to check. Oh, this word. You know, Moni, just a quick uh comment Hi. on that point. I think that. In order to understand the meaning of the of a word, actually understand right. it, it actually it's you sort of have to like trial and error with it many times before you mm. actually get the whole understanding. Otherwise, one definitely a one to one translation just doesn't do it. Yep, definitely. That's why when you look at words in the dictionary, they'll they won't normally have one word. They normally have at least five ten different words that they're like this is these are similar like we got to stop to stay the night to persist to put it into to contain to keep like they'll just list all those different words because they all because they because words don't translate one to one to each other um I, so definitely the more you see the word they the only more approximate 
you can only get yep you can only approximate you can only get one meaning at a time and hold that with you as you add more meanings to the box hi it's incredible that's the reason why acquiring the language is so difficult and time consuming so um hi so here we have kawaii da ha perfect the leaf that was dry or the dry leaves perfect and how about kirehashi kirehashi is loose pieces that was yes. either torn off or cut off perfect um do you know what this word means hazure 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 kakatte kakatte iru hai hazure hazure Achi katachi no toga. No, no, abu. It's the doors. Abu, it abu is something. Tobira. Tobira. Tobira ga. Hazure. Hazure. Kakatte iru. The door. Is in a particular state. So, the so. state that is in is kakatte. Kakatte here refer to like out. It's, yeah, uh, off so was a, is, is, is what that word means. Hazureru. You're right. Hazureru means off. Um, in this oh. case, the thing has been mostly disconnected, the door, but it's not fully disconnected. It's not off in the bushes somewhere. So, for example, as the picture I drew here, I took one of the thingies used to hold the door and just had it disconnected there. So the door is kind of not fully where it should be. It's kind of, it's basically disconnected, but it's not a hundred percent like gone or something like that. It's, uh, it's loose, I guess you could say. Because hazereru means off, correct. Um, Money elsewhere, just, yeah? elsewhere we saw. Elsewhere we saw kakatte being used to insinuate starting an action. Well, it right. ki kind of means like, starting. Um, for example, uh, kuzureru, right? Was kuzure kakatteiru. Um, it's used a lot with these kind of rotting and um, molding and rusting, I guess not rusting, but anything, the idea that the, when you say it has happened, that you feel like it would be gone. Like if your table has rotted away, right? So the idea is that if you add the word away, if you can add the word away to the word in English, so rotted away, um, crumbled away, anything like that, if you can add away to it. Then for that verb in Japanese, if you want to have it on the rotted sign, you actually have to read kakateiru. Kakaru. Um, because otherwise uh, so the it, meaning of the word describes... contains the away meaning. So hazure means to so... have been fully disconnected. So the hazure kakateiru means it's disconnected, but not away disconnected. <laughs> it has not been disconnected away, just like it has not rotted away or crumbled away, or anything like that. There's still some remnants of the item, is uh, what it means. Remnants, ex rem remains exist. So, so in a way, this does mean to start, but it, it's different than like the other two starts, is just uh, what I'm pointing out. So here, this kakate have two, this other meaning of it is that Kakate iru describe a verb that is still in the state of actions. It's an Hi. ongoing verb. Hi. It's still going. It hasn't finished yet. It hasn't completely Hi. finished yet, as opposed to um uh what was that that what that that word chimao? Where yeah, something chimao. is completely was that done. Completely? Hi. It yes. goes behind another verb. Yes. Like 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 uh tabete shimao, like completely ate or Aye. something like that. Yes. 
That sounds about right. This is an unfinished yeah. verb. Yeah. It means I... this verb is not finished, but it's fully like underway is the idea. Versus like some of the other ideas is that you say, oh, it's starching to rot might feel like it's just slightly rotted. But what but it's basically like how we say, Oh, the table's rotted. If you say that in English, we automatically assume the table's still there. It's just rotted, you know? <laughs> it just is kind of funny versus Hi. like I said, rotted away. So it's just kind of like interesting how the it's... word's separate. But it's exactly like you pointed out. It's the it's basically it started to do the action, but the idea is that it's not, oh, it's very slightly rotted just showing up. The idea is that it's like fully underway. You'd be like, oof, that is a hazard that 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 is totally disconnected, but it's not actually totally disconnected type of idea. I could say it's like a step before it's gone kind of idea. I... So it's basically, it's what you would imagine I... what that word would mean on its own in um, English <laughs> so, when that's there. And it just, when it's not there, it just feels like it's 100%. So let's go read this I... line. So, kawa no obi kara kawa no obi kara ga kagi ga hazreta so he hazreta away it had gone away Hi. the keys from the obi the keys from the leather um harness is gone it's hazard right it's gone it's off Le it has disconnected hi completely and in this context this um, kagi it, it has um means lock uh just in hai. the specific context. so here it's it's say here it's say that the lock has completely detached right it's not exactly. it's not hazard kakata is completely right. off. It's hazreta. Exactly. Yep. It is fully off of it. Perfect. Um. Do you remember what this word was? Onaji. This is a curse or a spell. This is a spell. Yes. It is a spell. Um. That is not boom. Is that is moji. No, it's not Moji. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, sadly, you can't guess from that because you're right. Moji letter has the mo part of here. You're right. It's the mo part of Moji. Um, and then you're right. It's also Boon for um, line. But with Jumon, pronounced totally different. Um, so very hard. Jumon. Probably related to the mo from Moji. Probably say Monji. <laughs> Jumon. But yeah, Jumon is a Jumon. spell. On it. Hi. What is Ju by itself? Curse. What does that mean? A curse. Okay, so a piece of curse. Yep, a, a line a of curse. Is some sort of it's a... not it's not bu from bubun, right? It's not a piece. It's boon like per sentences. A boon. Sentences. A day boon, for example. A day words. boon is an example sentence. A collection yeah. of words. So a curse of words. A paragraph of some sort. Is a spell. Hi. Um, Hi. So a sentence that is a curse. Um, what's this bolded word mean? Ju boon. Hi. Uh, it, it hasn't loaded yet. Sasayai de. Hi. Sasayai de. Ite. So it's sasa yaku. Hi. Sasa, sasa yaku. Hi. So here you say, Otona shiku shite ro to sasa yaite. Debri niwa kikoi na yoni otona shiku shiro to sasa yaita. Otona shiku shite. It's something that the Yojin Bo Benetto oh. said. Sasayaite. What is sasayaite? Sasayaku means he... to whisper. 
He whisper. He whisper. Hence, we have in order for nobody to not hear, as if nobody was not able to hear, the bodyguard Bennett whispered, "Behave yourself." Um, can you read this part? Yeah, 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 I mean roast. Yeah, it does mean roast or cooked or any of those kind of words. Yakita. Yeah. So right here, the thing with yakita was this word. Can you read it for me? Kawa. Yep, kawa. kawa. Which is actually the word for skin, unlike kawa, the other kanji, which had that different meaning. Um, can you read this line for me? Jumon o sasayato. Nikuo Yaita. Right. Nikuo Yaita. So it say that whisper the spell and immediately after the meat was cooked. Exactly. Perfect. Um can you read this word for me? Ho i wan bakari ni. Do you remember what this meant? I get confused because I remember bakari can mean only these these categories of things. Right. right. Only that is the default things. meaning. Yes, you're correct. This is a different grammar point mean... using m bakari. It can also mean having just done this thing mm. at this moment, right? Hi, hi, hi. Have, that does sound right. It? Having just done that. All right. I would, I, yeah, that is another meaning of it. And the third and meaning I'm of guessing, it is as if. As if. So, to iwan bakani means as if to have said. Uh, this is used with negative uh, plus bakari. But iwan bakari is specifically in the dictionary. But this is a grammar point as well. Bakari plus n. Mm. And that's because next time we meet, we're going to be looking at a similar as if meaning from bakari, which is to bakari ni, which means as if to say. And it can be used um, not literally with saying. It can be used metaphorically, like in the sentence over here. But we're actually going to be reading that next time because um i think it'd be good to restart up over here when we start next week Boop. we get all those vocab words um any questions before we go